Drones, the Unmanned Aerial Vehicles, aka UAVs, are becoming widespread across the world, but as more of these appear, the light shines brighter on the lack of regulation from the Federal Aviation Administration, who are meant to ensure safe flight over US skies. It's a wild, wild west, and now even the Catholic Church has proven the US government's lackadaisical nature towards the new popular technology. This video here shows the canonization procession of former Pope John Paul II by the Washington Archdiocese. As you can see, it shows some very slick, beautiful looking drone footage, but wait. You're not allowed to fly anything in Washington DC's flight restricted zone, which spans a 15 mile radius around Reagan National Airport. So how is the Catholic Church getting away with flying a drone in the US airspace for a commercial purpose? In 2011, aerial photographer Raphael Perka got a fine notice of $10,000 from the FAA following a commercial filming incident at the University of Virginia. Unfortunately for the FAA and its lack of legally binding rules, the case was dismissed by a federal judge. So it looks like without any set in stone rules, what right do they have to rule over anyone? Another incident with a more severe consequence was from hobbyist David Zabodowski, who was arrested and charged for reckless endangerment following a flight violation in New York City. David was less lucky. So it looks like the FAA could well be making up rules on the flight, implementing them for some and turning a blind eye on other incidents like the Catholic Church. In relation to the case, Les Dor, an FAA spokesperson, told the Washington Post that the Archdiocese drone sounded like an unusual situation. They're not really a commercial entity per se, but neither are they a private entity. It all seems a bit ridiculous that one of the world's largest organisations can flout the rules for unknown reasons, while individuals enjoying a hobby get penalisation threats thrust at them. As it stands, there aren't any actual rules for what people can and cannot do, so really, they can do anything? They can threaten fines, but they haven't got the legally implemented rules to stand strong with. In an article on the agency's official website entitled Busting Myths About the FAA and Unmanned Aircraft, it states, There are no shades of grey in FAA regulations. Anyone who wants to fly an aircraft, manned or unmanned, in US airspace needs some level of FAA approval. Each robot of the sky must seek permission and approvals are on a case-by-case -case basis, but the FAA clearly hadn't heard about the incident and other similar incidents until after they occurred, relying on complaints from the public or other businesses and through the news media or postings on internet sites. But how can they control such a thing when they don't find out about an incident until after it happens? When the FAA finally hears about an unauthorised UAV's operation, they are said to apply enforcement like a verbal warning, a warning letter or an order to stop the operation. No such action appears to have been carried out for the Catholic Church. The US are clearly proving slow when coming up with rules for the small unmanned photo snapping, medicine delivering aerial aircrafts, but the irony lies in the fact that they actually fly the most dangerous drones in the world's skies. In 2012, US Congress revealed they'd finally had enough of waiting for regulation from the FAA and have insisted they come up with a plan for safe integration of all drones into US skies by September 30, 2015. This has pushed the agency into some sort of higher speed with a proposed rule for small drones less than £55 in weight on the horizon for later this year, which is also likely to cover commercial operations. But larger drones are even further away. What does that mean for the current lack of regulation then? Some believe that the US is behind the rest of the world because of their lack of legally binding rules. Costa Rica uses drones to monitor a volcano. In the Philippines, they're using them to help typhoon hit Tacloban City. And in Asia, they are used to deliver medicine to flood victims. The FAA says this comparison is flawed because the US has a much more complex airspace to the rest of the world. In current standings, they have implemented six potential test sites that will come into fruition soon, with the first becoming fully operational in North Dakota back in April. Employment and job opportunities are also considered a factor in the urgency to adopt and implement FAA rules, with a study predicting that 2,515 jobs could be created in Kansas-based UAV companies between 2015 and 2015. 2016. With an estimation of as many as 7,500 small commercial UAVs taking to the skies by 2018, it all depends on when the FAA sorts out its regulations. And with delivery companies like Amazon, DHL, UPS and FedEx researching drones for package delivery, the future holds potential for more.
with federal judges currently holding a hierarchy against the legality of drone rulings by the FAA, the agency needs to act in order to implement regulation that applies for all. A regulation that not only covers the aerial photographers and hobbyists of the world, but the Catholic churches too.